Have you heard about the newest outrage, the newest success for the leftists? Have you seen this? They're changing the name of an Abraham Lincoln High School because he did not demonstrate that black lives mattered to him. This is out in San Francisco, unsurprisingly. I saw this last night, and to be honest, I browsed right by it. I was looking through the news, thinking about today's show. Just browsed right by it. And then I stopped and I went back. And I tried to wrap my mind around why. I'm always wondering why. What's their motivation? You know, you, you have goals. I have goals. Maybe your goals are specific if you're a huge nerd. Maybe you have things written down on an Excel spreadsheet. In two years, you're going to be here. And, and these goals can differ to whatever you do. It could be work. It could be wife, kids, the car, house, whatever, whatever the case may be. You have goals. So you and I, I know because I make this mistake too, I think we make a mistake when it comes to the left. I think we always assume when we see insanity like this, and it's easy to laugh off or browse through as I did or roll your eyes, I think we make the mistake of thinking they have somewhere they want to go with this. They have a goal. There, there's an end to it, right? There, there's an end to it. But there are no end goals for the left. There never has been an end goal to the left. Remember we talked about Pol Pot the other night? I'll bring him up again real quick because this just made me think of it. Pol Pot, once they took over everything, he had complete power, the communists had everything. There were 22, I believe, members of the communist committee that were kind of running things with Pol Pot. By the time he was done, he'd killed 18 of them too. All they do is destroy. The left doesn't have a goal as in, I want to get here. I want to have this much power. I want to make sure I take over this and then I'll stop. Even if they think they do, that's not what they want. Leftism is a religion of domination and destruction. Their goal is to destroy. They don't realize it, but that's their goal. And they have a purpose for many of these things. Like, like when we go over the different things that they've done in this country, why they've replaced this name or toppled this statue, uh, don't get me wrong, they have something specific they want out of that. Their goal for that is this. They're taking away who you are. They want you to be a blank slate. The big problem for the left in taking power in America is American DNA it may not be as strong as it once was, certainly probably not, but American DNA is distrust of the government. Leave me alone. Rebel. Dislike authority. Don't do what you're told. Oh, I don't want Washington to be too big, too strong. That's American DNA. Well, that's against everything they believe. Well, how do you solve that problem? You take away the past. You simply stop talking about it. And whatever exists from your past, you strip it away. Even things you think may help your cause. They don't want you to have anything. They don't want you to be anything. They want a blank piece of paper so then they can mold you into the good little status they want you to be. That's really why they do all this stuff. Hey, thanks so much for watching the first on YouTube. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and like and subscribe. You heard me like it, subscribe. You'll get a lot more of it and a lot more of me.